How to edit a YouTube video on Android If you don't have a fancy computer to edit your videos and you want to do YouTube videos, you can use your phone. Some of the greatest YouTubers out there did lots of their videos on phones and they edited the same. Your creativity doesn't need to end because you don't have a fancy PC to edit your videos. So take a stand and post your videos on YouTube. How can you edit your first YouTube video on the phone? To edit a video, you will need software that can help you. So, I am going to show you a software that can help you edit videos on Android. Please note that the best videos on YouTube are filmed in the landscape mode, so try to shoot your videos in landscape. Let's enter the Play Store. Here, on the search bar, search for Kine Master. After you find the app, just tap on install and wait until it is added to your phone. When the install is finished, just open the app. To start editing a file, you need to allow KineMaster to access photos, media and files on your device. Swipe from right to left until the last step. Now tap Start. You will get an ad to buy the KineMaster Premium. I suggest for now, because you have not tried the app, to get the 7 day trial or simply use the free version. For this tutorial, we will use the free version. Please note that what I'm going to do in this video is just a test. I do not want to post it on my channel and I do not want to waste too much time for you to see what I can do with this app. I am just going to show you some of the basics for this app and let your creativity do the magic. To start a new video, just tap on the button from the middle. Now select the aspect ratio of the project. I would suggest selecting 16 by 9. First, to start the project, I suggest importing the media you want to add to the movie. Use the media browser to add the movie or images you want to add to the video. I will select the camera and select a video I made with the Eiffel Tower from my desk. You can add multiple videos and the videos will run one after another. At the bottom of the software, you will have one of the most important parts, the time lapse. You can move on the time of the video really easy. If you add multiple videos, you will be able to set up transition effects so the video will look nice. Just tap on the plus and select the transition. This is really easy to do. On the left, we have a button that will show us all the layers of the movie. This will be handy when we have multiple layers. At a specific time, you can add multiple things. You can add an image, an audio file, or you can record some audio and also add layers. What is a layer? You can add an effect, sticker, text, handwrite, or even a media image on the video. Let me show you how I add an effect. This is a blur effect that you can add to somebody's face. But let me show you how I can add an image to the video. Select layer, media. Now find the image you want. How you can see, you can resize the image and put it where you want in the video. Also, you can put this background anywhere. You decide how much time an image will see or how much time an effect is there. The adjusting is easy and can be done real fast. Also, all effects or media file or videos have animation and that can help you make very nice transition. Of course, my main objective in this video is to show you that you can do lots of stuff. You can try to play around with this app and let your creativity do the rest. After you are pleased with the video you created, you need to export the video.
Tap on this button. You can now set up the export values. I would suggest doing it on 1080p. This is a good resolution. Then tap export. Now the system is exporting your video. It could take a bit of time, but do not worry, just wait. After the video is exported, you can play the video directly here. And then just upload it to YouTube. This is how you edit a video on your phone. If this was useful, please like, share and subscribe. You can also watch more videos from the right. Also, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments area below.